Hello, um, this is Dan Walsh. I'm doing another recording of uh, Red Hat Dan on Tech. Um, today, I'm going to be joined by Preeti Thomas, who is a uh, senior uh, manager uh, at Red Hat, and by Colin Walters, who is a senior principal engineer. The um, reason we brought the three of us together is uh, last week, we all attended KubeCon, and at KubeCon, we made a major announcement about donating Podman, Podman Desktop, and Bootsy to um, the CNCF Foundation. So KubeCon is called uh, Cloud Native also. So CNCF stands for Cloud Native Foundation. And so uh, we're just going to talk quickly about what, what it means that we do donated, uh, donated or submitted for Sandbox, depending on how you, the terminology. Um, and uh, Preeti, uh, so you want to quickly cover what's going on with this? Yes, with the uh, KubeCon, we decided to announce a contribution to CNCF our container tools, which includes Podman, Podman Desktop, uh, Bootsy. And in addition to that, we also included a number of our other container tools and technologies, uh, which is Bootsy, Scopio, and some of the libraries that would follow. Okay. Uh, I think most people, if you Going to Red Hat Dan on Tech, you've probably heard of Podman, um, and uh, probably a little less on Podman Desktop, and um, even a little bit less on Boot C. Um, so Podman obviously is a, a package that we have available on just about every Linux distribution. It's a container engine. Um, really, uh, I think we pushed it as being, you know, we really have gone it towards working well with uh, Kubernetes. Um, and trying to make sure that you know the the language of co the complex language for defining multiple containers together is a pod, and we also support Kubernetes YAML. Um, Podman Desktop is uh, Preeti. You want to cover that one? Uh, yes. So uh, we started the Podman project back in like 2016, 2017 timeframe, and then, uh, well, which was mostly. Uh, used in Linux as our developers and user grew into other operating systems like Mac and Windows, we um, came up, we just, uh, uh, there was an opportunity to create another a GUI, a front end for Podman, and we um, started um, uh, exploring a, a Podman desktop or container desktop option. Which we start, uh, which we launched as Podman Desktop back like maybe three years, three years ago. Yeah, and that runs on Windows, Macs, and on Linux, Linux platform. Um, and you know, uh, pretty much it's fully free, fully open source. I think there's been uh, approximately 1.5 million downloads of Podman Desktop, um, and obviously uses Podman and Podman Machine under the covers. So on a Mac and Windows, it's using a a VM with Podman running inside of it, and you have Podman clients running on a Mac or Windows talking to it. And then the third tool that uh, was uh, contributed to CNCF is a tool called Boot C, uh, which Colin is the uh, creator of. So, Colin, why don't you tell us a little bit about Boot C? Yeah, Boot C uh, is intended to bring uh, containers all the way to the OS. There's there's been some other things in this space. Uh, you know, uh, Docker when it first was created obviously had a huge inter impact on enterprise IT, and now is very established. Um, but taking it to the booted host operating system is another a whole other endeavor. In there, yeah, again, there have been several projects in this space like. Docker Linux Kit has kind of been around for a while and is kind of related, but is very different in practice. Um, Bootsy, in a nutshell, basically you have a kernel and other infrastructure in a container image, and uh, you can build and extend that using any OCI tooling. And then from there, uh, use Bootsy to install and upgrade it in place. So uh, it, it builds on a, the long-standing OS3 project and you know has been battle-tested core for for operating system upgrades for a long time. And so we have a kind of container native front end on that. And we've been uh, adding lots of features and it has an ecosystem around it. You know, we've integrated it with the Anaconda tool that has long been in the Fedora and RHEL ecosystem for deploying to bare metal, um, as well as the, uh, the Red Hat image builder tool to make, turn the container image into disk images for virtualized environments uh, and that sort of thing. 
Yeah. So the primary goal here is to allow me to design my operating system the same way I design the application to container technology. So I mean, the idea is that we would build um, a container. You, you know, you could build a operating system just with you know a container file and then do a boot a Podman build. Push it. Push the uh, that container, that OS container, to a registry and then use Boot C to to get that data onto actual physical systems or into virtual machines. And then for the rest of the management of that life cycle, that operating system would be using Bootsy upgrade, which in some ways is similar to Podman uh, pull and that you and then recreate a container. In this case, we'd be recreating the operating system on every reboot um, of the system. So um, one of the cool things I think, you know, when I was, we were at KubeCon, most of KubeCon, KubeCon and C Cloud Native uh, um, conference is, is focused on high level, um, you know, APIs uh, really to support uh, Kubernetes. And um, by us donating these tools, we're really moving it back towards the developer for people developing containers, developing operating systems, and um, running containers, you know, locally. Um, so I, you know, I think that the excitement part to me is, you know, we all live low in the operating system and not up at the uh, Kubernetes level. So um, getting these into cloud, into CNCF basically opens it up, um, you know, we're showing that Red Hat's commitment to open source software. And um, really, I think this, um, I think it's a great thing that Red Hat did giving these these products, um, you know, loosening the control on these products. Um, any other thoughts on this? Yeah, I guess I just agree that, you know, a lot of what it, what exists in the CNCF today is is focused at uh, Kubernetes and above. There's there's a couple projects for for Linux and below. And I think I think we have a lot to bring to the table, you know, a huge amount of experience and code. And I'm really looking forward to what we do as far as collaborating with these existing projects and also bridging to the existing Kube and above. For example, uh, a lot to talk about potentially around Bootsy and Cluster API, which is sort of Kubernetes native way to spin up virtual and as well as bare metal machines, but it's focused on disk images and not on container images today. And so that's a that's a bridge we can build. So uh, looking forward to what we do there. Yeah. And uh, going back to Bootsy, uh, do you see Colin uh, that OpenShift's Red Hat's uh, Kubernetes product projects is going to move to using uh, Bootsy for management of of nodes underneath uh, our Kubernetes clusters? Absolutely, yeah. That is that is one of the goal. I mean, in fact, this uh, this technology came out of OpenShift uh, originally. Yeah, you know, I think a, a lot of Red Hat's customers uh, like the fact that OpenShift integrates operating system upgrades, and OpenShift four always shipped the OS updates in a container, uh, and now we've changed it to to be, look like a, a native Bootsy container. And uh, yes, elements of this are are already trickling in and have been used since OpenShift four twelve. Yeah, I've seen some concern when this was announced that you know that it, could this just be like Red Hat abandoning these these projects and throwing them over the wall? And I think uh, Preeti, uh, could anything be further from the truth than that? Uh, it can be further from the truth because Podman is uh, it uh, it has like twenty three thousand stars in the. Um, uh, in use years in production use and uh, thousands and thousands of users and partner and desktop, like you said earlier, has been downloaded 1.5 million times so far and it is growing. So it's the, the community is growing. It has been used in many of the, the Linux um, version or Linux uh, enterprise Linux um, flavors. So that is, um, it can be further from the truth. Yeah. but very. Red Hat is going to be fully committed to continuing to develop. Oh, absolutely. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That is um, uh, like Red Hat Enterprise Linux is um, fully on Podman, Podman, right? Committed to Podman and okay. OpenShift as well. Okay. Well, it's great to see you all again. And uh, we had a, a fun time at uh, KubeCon and uh, we'll talk to you again. Thanks for uh, coming on and talking a little bit about it. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan.